Hello, this is Raymond Aaron, New York Times Top 10 Bestselling Author, and this video is about my goals for 2018. But I want you to learn something from it. So what can you learn? Well, from the content, that is from my actual goals, you might be inspired to create goals similar to it. But from the context point of view, I want you to notice what I'm doing. Number one, I made goals for 2018. Most people don't, or they do silly New Year's resolutions when they're half drunk. And the most common New Year's resolution is weight loss. And on average, the weight loss goal is ruined in 36 hours. That is, a calorie comes along noon January 2nd, and they're off. So we're not doing silly New Year's resolutions. We're doing real goals, thoughtful goals, where you take a pen and paper, and you really think about it. And you make two or three goals in each of the six mainly categories, the six mainly goal pathways of life. You don't just write down 20, let's say, money goals and then hope that the rest of your life will be okay. No, you have to do it properly. You gotta take a pen and paper. You have gotta have some contemplative time. And you have to do two or three goals, annual goals, in each of the six goal pathways. And they spell out the acronym mainly, M-A-I-N-L-Y, mainly. M stands for you must clean a mess. A is acknowledgement. This is the spiritual goal where you acknowledge or appreciate a person or an organization. I is the increase in wealth goal. This is where all your financial goals go. N is doing something new. We're in massive change, an area of massive change. You better be doing new things or you'll be left behind. L is learn. You better be learning things or you'll be left way behind. And then Y is the most delicious one, doing something just for yourself. And you must write for your annual goals two or three in each of the six categories. You might say, no, no, I want to write down 20 wealth goals. Well, if you do, then you won't clean any messes. You won't be acknowledging anybody, so nobody will want to be with you. You see, you can't just make money. You'll be a very shallow and narrow person. And I want you to expand this year of 2018 in six wonderful ways, in all six wonderful ways. And so what I'm doing is not only did I spend the time thinking about my goals and winnowing them down to these two or three in each category, because I could write hundreds down also. But see, the thing is, if you write down hundreds of goals, you won't remember anything. If you write down two or three in each of the six mainly categories, you'll know what they are. And you can write them down on a small sheet of paper, keep them with you. Then you can achieve it. If you write down hundreds, you'll probably achieve nothing. It's a, it's a contradiction. And then, once I've done that, I write it out neatly. And once I do that, I tell people. Now, what people should you tell? Well, if you have a big stage like me, tell the whole world. But most people don't. And so what you, knew, what you need to do is tell only those people who will support you. So if you think a person that you might share your goals with might say, oh, why don't you dream smaller dreams? Or, oh yeah, you said that last year and you didn't do anything. Don't tell negative people. They're not gonna support you. Tell only positive people. But Raymond, you're telling everybody. Well, I have about 40,000 clients around the world. Most of them are positive towards me. Most of them support me. Most of them wish me well. And the others, well, there's always some. But I, I don't mind. I have thick skin and I want to share my goals with you, with as many of the positive views as there are out there. So here are my goals. You may want to write them down. You may just want to replay this. I have two mess goals, and they both relate to my family. I, I'm in the unfortunate situation right now, and I'm embarrassed to reveal this, where there is a very close family member, or at least a family member who should be close, and I'm not close to her at all. We, we have some disagreements. And it's very sad. I don't want to mention names, but we'll call this person A, family member A. And I'm looking forward to having a wholesome relationship with A by the end of 2018. And yet another family member, B, we're in a legal battle. Can you imagine a legal battle with a family member? I, I can't imagine anything in a family worse. It's just... It, it's just crazy. I don't know how we got into it. I've done my best to get out of it, but it needs two to tangle. And so I'm hoping that 
we will break the log jam in 2018 and clean this silly little mess up. It's not little. I, I was minimizing it just to make myself feel good. But those are my two mess goals. And when those messes are cleaned up, my heart will sing. Now, my A goal, the acknowledgement goal, the spiritual goal, is one, go on a vacation with Karen. Karen, my wife. Well, you might say, Raymond, you go on a one-week vacation every month, a one-month vacation every year. You go with her many times. What's the deal? Well, the deal is Karen really doesn't count a vacation if I'm doing any work at all. So, for example, we're going to Costa Rica for an entire week, but I'll be working. It'll be my retreat. And even though I'll be spending wonderful time with her, we'll be going on excursions together with my clients, these are my innermost best clients, for me, it'll be a most spectacular vacation. But even though she appreciates it and loves me, it's not exactly a vacation for her. And so my plan is to go on a vacation that has nothing to do with work, not even the flight, like nothing at all, to a separate place, we go there, we vacation, we come back, no work whatsoever. That's what she wants. And my second acknowledgement goal is for my daughter, Emma, my younger daughter, Emma. She has done so well at school this year, so extraordinarily well. She's on student council. She's about eight months ahead of schedule in her studies. It's astounding how well she's doing. And I have offered her to take her to, to the retreat. And she was on it last year, and she knows all the people there, and she was overjoyed to come. So you might say, well, then just take her, buy her a ticket. Yeah, it may seem easy to you, but things happen in life. And even if you think something simple, it may not actually happen. But it's the giantness of bringing her and the giantness of the connection that we'll have that is why it's an annual goal and it's so very important to me. Now, my I goal, that's increase in wealth. These are the financial goals. And here, I'm going to have to be a little circumspect. I don't want to tell you the exact nature of my goals. And you can see I'm reading them because I just created them. It's January 1st. I, they're my little babies. I don't know them all perfectly by heart yet. The first is that I've had some kind of sadness within me that I can't identify. And when I'm on stage, as rah, rah, rah as I always am, bouncing across the stage, little energizer buddy, bunny, there's something missing in my talks. And the audience can sometimes feel it but my staff can feel it, and I seem to be doing everything normally. I mean, normal for me, high energy, funny, everybody's laughing, but somehow the end result isn't there. And my staff can identify it, and I can identify it kind of. And so my first goal is to get back to dazzling presentations, even though I think they're already dazzling, but the results aren't there. And second, I want to own one more positive cash flow property. Right now, I own lots of real estate, and amazingly, at this moment, every single piece of real estate I own is mortgage-free. I mean, it's just the most delicious experience anyone could have. But I want one more this year, that's all. I mean, I could buy many of them, but I have other uses for the money, other investment opportunities, and so I just want one more positive cash flow property. Shouldn't be that difficult. And lastly, I have an income goal, and I won't tell it to you, I want to keep it confidential, but it's in an even number of millions of dollars a year, a certain number of millions. So that's, that's my goal for the year. That's my financial goal. Now my N goal, which is new goal, things I've never done before or haven't done for a long time, there's three of them. The first is, I did a presentation on WOW, and Jack Hanfield was in the audience, and he really liked it. And he was, he was triggered by it, he, he, he enjoyed it. And he can write a book on whatever he wants. He's one of the greatest authors of our day. But he was noble and he asked if I would like to co-author a book with him. And we called it The Power of Wow and we've trademarked the series and we bought the URL, powerofwow.com. And my goal for 2018 is that the manuscript will be done. And done in, in a draft form, but it's all there. Right now we've been doing research for 2017. We've got all our research done, and now I want to actually sit in his living room and we'll just work away for as long as it takes and get that manuscript done. So that's the first one. 
And then the second new experience I want to have is be off my drugs. I've been taking high blood pressure medication for about 25 years, but recently I've lost 20 pounds, 195 to 175. I've lost 20 pounds, actually just in the last November, December, and I want to lose about 10 more, and then I'll be in the 160s, and at that point I should be easily able to drop my meds. I'm under the care of a nephrologist, and he says that nephrology doctors know more about the heart than cardiac doctors. I, I'm sure that's a big argument between them. But he's going to support me, so I'm under medical care. And the third one is I've created an amazing three-and-a-half-day experience with one of my mentors, Dr. Nito Cobain. And we're going to be holding it at his university. He's the president of a university. He creates the most amazing wow experiences of ever. Nobody creates wow experiences like Nito Cobain. And if you want to look it up, it's Q-U-B-E-I-N. Q-U-B-E-I-N. Nito is N-I-D-O. And I've created an amazing three-and-a-half-day experience. It's limited to 23 people, and it'll sell out very, very quickly. And I, that's my goal. Is I, I just wanted to sell out and deliver an amazing climb. It's called Climb, C-L-I-M-B. That's the name of the workshop. And Nito himself personally will be there, will be escorted around his university to see all the wows so that we can learn how to create more and more and more wows consciously in our own business. It, it's an amazing. I, I'm so excited. I've done nothing ever like this in my life. And now learn. I have three learn goals. One is to achieve a certain spiritual goal. And I'm going to be a little circumspect about this, but my spiritual coach has identified a certain level of learning, a certain experience. And when I hit it, all of a sudden, there'll be a shift, a giant shift in my physical universe. And he's identified it. And I'm about 70% of the way there. And I've seen huge shifts in me already. So I'm not going to name this. I'll just call it Platform One, let's say. I want to get to Platform One this year. And I want to read five spiritual books that my spiritual coach recommends to me. And five more. I mean, I've been reading lots of them already. And... I want, I've created a brand new coaching program that is the most profound one-on-one -on -one coaching that I've ever, ever offered. I, I created it out of nothing. I, I've already spoken to a few people about it and I've, I'm just so excited. And I think I, I won't take more than five ever in a year because it requires so much of my energy and my psyche to deliver such powerful wisdom. And I, I think I'll limit it to five and I want to have all five. I'm, I'm very excited. And then the why goal, just for yourself. Well, my first one is to get back to where I was before polar race, which was 11 years ago. I raced 350 miles to the North Pole by foot. And I was able to race up 100 flights of stairs and run all the way back down. And I know I don't have a 100-story building near me, but I live in a 25-story building now, so I want to go from the parking garage up to the penthouse is 25 flights or stories and back down and then up and down and then up and down and then up and down a total of four times till I've done 100. And my very best time is 29 minutes for that. I did that when I was 62 years old. And so I don't imagine that I'm going to go for 29 minutes, but I, I want to be able to run it. You know, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, that, that would be wonderful. And lastly, to be to weigh in the 160s. Anything 169, even 169 and a half, I'll take it. I haven't been in the 160s, I think, since university. And that was a half a century ago. So if you have two goals in each of six mainly categories, you could have 12 annual goals. If you have three, you'd have 18. So I chose 15. I have 15 goals, and I've shared them with you. And if you see this on Facebook or you see it on YouTube, then please comment and like it and ask me questions about it. I'll respond. And also, I encourage you, you do it. Do it. Go for it. Do it. Create your annual goals with forethought, two or three in each of the mainly categories, and do it, and then tell only those people who will support you. I wish you the most blessed 2018 you could ever, ever imagine.